Hello, Dr. Wayne. Can you uh, not share the PowerPoint yet? Is that okay? I let we let you know when you start to share the PowerPoint. Okay. Let me take it back here. Recording in progress. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Donna Chow, your MC from Dean Lotus. Welcome to today's webinar, Shanghan Lun Modern Applications with Dr. Hua Bing Wen. Today's webinar is recorded and presented by eLotus and sponsored by Evergreen Herbs. Here at Lotus Institute of Integrative Medicine, we have been hosting educational courses for over two decades. And we are proud to be your trusted source for not only CEUs, but also to connect with your peers and also up and coming or seasoned practitioners. A little housekeeping before we get started. Today's webinar will run from 1 to 5 p.m. Pacific time and we'll have breaks and Dr. Wen will let you know when those are. Lecture notes are currently available for download on the Blue Course Access page and the chat room. If you will be participating in the chat today, please set your chat to everyone or if you have an older version of Zoom, set it to all panelists and attendees. That way everyone can see what you are typing and everyone can be part of the conversation. The quiz and the video replay, both will be available tomorrow afternoon and I will send an email out when those are ready. Just out of curiosity, how many of you have studied Shanghan Lin in school? Please type yes or no into the chat room. The reason why I ask is because some schools have it only as an elective, so I'm never sure where everyone's level is. If you are interested in studying more about Shanghan Lin, we do have other classes by a new speaker, Mark Mastrandrea, in which I will include the link for you in the chat room. Today, we are very lucky to have with us Dr. Hua Bing Wen. He has been in private practice for over 20 years and is a master's program faculty member at both Yosan University of Traditional Chinese Medicine and Emperor's College of Oriental Medicine. He holds classes in TCM Oncology, Advanced Chinese Internal Medicine, and Chinese Classics at Emperor's well-known doctoral program. With his extensive knowledge of both TCM and conventional medicine, Dr. Wen provides the best possible care for his patients and treats a broad range of diseases in partnership with a wide range of health, health professionals. He did a class with us a while back on managing chemotherapy side effects with TCM, which is free for you to watch. I will also put this link in the chat room for you once I get to my computer. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start with today's webinar and welcome Dr. Hua Bing Wen. And Dr. Wen, you can go ahead and start sharing your, your PowerPoint with us and let the class begin. Thank you, Donna, for the introduction. Let me let me share the document. Okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, thank you everybody for uh, attending uh, this webinar. And uh, like uh, Donna mentioned, Shang uh, Han yeah, um, you know, it is a great book, a great, uh, but it's not uh, all the schools, um, all they probably teach the same way, the same level. Um, so I'm so glad, you know, have the opportunity, you know, to share with uh, everybody uh, about the, my uh, uh, experience, yeah, uh, with Shanghai Lun, yeah, so we can get, get started. Uh, let me see. Um, so we'll talk about like the modern 
uh, clinical applications. Yeah, uh, Shanghai Lun. So today's class is basically we have four hours. Uh, what we'll do. Uh, the first hour, uh, we'll probably do an introduction um, about Shanghai Lun, yeah. Um, and uh, each hour we have, a, after after that, we have uh, like a pair of formulas, yeah, Zheng Wutang uh, versus Jingui Sheng Xiwan for the Shaoying being kidney yang deficiency part, and Da Chai Hu Tang and the Chai Hu Gui Zhi Gan Jiang Tang is like a Shaoying, in the Shaoying being category. Um, Wu Mei Wan uh, and uh, Ban Xia Xie Xing Tang is more for uh, the complex, you know, uh, patterns called the heat deficiency excess, you know, all the, yeah, all that uh, like a complicated, yeah, uh, cases, you know, we use the Jue Ying Bing and other uh, mistreated, you know, conditions. Uh, so each, um, we all do, you know, we pretty much in you know, the practice what we uh, preach, um, you know, we'll have like a 50 hours, uh, great 50 hours, 50 minutes uh, lecture, and we'll have a 10 minutes break. Yeah, I encourage you just get up, move around, you know, move your chi, make sure you have uh, enough, enough spleen chi and come back for the next uh, yeah, uh, lecture before you know, falling asleep. Um, and uh, so you can, here's my uh, contact info. So you can reach me uh, if you have uh, questions, you know, about Shanghai Lun or also about um, uh, just the difficult cases. Yeah, uh, and uh, there's my website. So I have uh, previously, you know, offered a few uh, webinars, you know, that have recordings available, uh, TCM oncology, and also uh, TCM in the infertility treatment. And I also have one chapter of Shanghai Lun, Shao Yang Bing, um, like three, three classes, you know, those are all recorded. Uh, so it's uh, accessible available yeah if you are interested you can check check those out um so let's start with the uh, basically overview yeah this is for today's yeah we'll talk about the shanghai Lun. and the, the one approach i like to to use yeah which is uh, very clinically uh, relevant yeah is how to uh, combine uh, conventional medicine yeah, into the TCM practice, so known as you know, integrative medicine. So that, because uh, you know, since the beginning of uh, Shanghai Lun, uh, there's about altogether uh, like 400 books. Yeah, you hear, yeah, you heard it right. It's about 400 books, yeah, uh, interpreting Shanghai Lun. Yeah, so uh, about, you know, 200 are good ones, yeah. And so about like 50, yeah, if you really want to uh, get into Shanghai Lun, yeah, it's about the 50 books, yeah, uh, so that you can uh, study. Um, but the difference between now and back then, so the conventional medicine has like, developed, yeah, uh, greatly. You know, there's a lot of breakthroughs, a lot of uh, advances, yeah, in uh, uh, medical technology, yeah, uh, especially, you know, the, the yeah, surgery part, and uh, also, you know, the fundamental studies, you know, down to uh, molecular level, uh, DNA level, yeah, even, even more, you know, that's still, yeah, still developing. So I have been, you know, thinking for a long time. Yeah, it's like, okay, what is the best way to put those two together? Yeah. Um, and so use, basically try to use uh, conventional medicine to interpret, yeah. you know, the patterns that we know, well, what is a Tai Yang Bing? What is a Yang Ming Bing? Yeah, what is Shao Yang Bing? And so the reason is because that is clinically very important. Yeah, if we can see that, for example, like with the today's lecture. So if a patient come to you, they say, oh, here's my uh, hormone test, my uh, testosterone down to 200 or lower, yeah, and detectable. And probably first thing you can think of like, okay, what is the 
you know, that herbal equivalent of like low testosterone. Yeah. Uh, like, okay, we can think about the kidney yang uh, tonics. So Zheng Wutang and Jingui Sheng Ji Wan, they have a place. Yeah. So this is kind of like the type of um, uh, practice I want you to have. Yeah, the patient come in with a blood test, with the imaging test. And so how to quickly come up with a treatment uh, protocol. Yeah. So, and so that is actually, you know, because the way we, um, uh, we learn uh, from uh, TCM schools, uh, and most times it's, oh, okay, so you need to come up with a pattern, right? Yeah, you have symptoms, you have symptoms, so you put A plus B plus C, and then, oh, we have this pattern. And when the, uh, when the conditions are more complicated, you know, that you know, approach uh, may not be efficient. So you may end up with two, three, four different patterns. So when it comes to that point, so that actually make the treatment principle in you know, like how to, uh, pr the protocol is very complicated very difficult, yeah. And so Shang Han Lun will give you a simplified version of that. And if you combine with uh, conventional medicine, you know, that integrative model, that'll make it even e easier. Yeah, so that actually is my, uh, my intention. It's like, okay, we, we should do it, we should study it, we should study it from different angle, more clinically uh, relevant, and also it's easy to, uh, master the use of, you know, the Shanghai formulas. Yeah, so that, that's the, uh, and so we'll have, uh, yeah, like I mentioned, you know, we'll have Da Chai Hu Tang, the Chai Hu Gui Zhi Gan Jiang Tang. So basically, in short, you know, there's a, a condition called the EPI, uh, exocrine, you know, yeah, uh, pancreatic insufficiency. Yeah, and we'll explain that a little bit more, you know, uh, later. And there's acute and chronic pancreatitis, you know, that you can see clearly from the description, oh, that's exactly what we, we need, Da Chai Hu Tang, yeah. Uh, there's Ban Xia Xie Xing Tang and uh, Wu Mei Wan. So for GERD, for IBS and IBD, you know, those complex yeah, uh, patterns, you have a cold, you have a heat, a deficiency and access uh, presented, you know, the same time, uh, that's what, yeah, what, what we, we need to do, you know, to pretty much take care of both. Um, so now, uh, come back to the basic uh, uh, concept in TCM. You know, we, uh, there's two basic fundamental principles. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, we focus too much on individual cases. You know, we forgot, yeah, uh, we tend to forget about, you know, the basic stuff. So the holistic point of view, yeah. So that you, you, have, you have a headache. It's not probably just from, you know, the head, right? It can be from, yeah. Jue Ying can be from Shao Ying, yeah, you know, this, that, that type. And uh, the second, yeah, it's called the Bian Zheng Lun Zhi, yeah, pattern differentiation and uh, based uh, treatment protocol. So pattern, there's uh, quite a few different pattern, you know, uh, differentiation in the approaches that, that later we'll touch a little bit. And also it, there's a very important uh, principle we call the consistency of Li, Fa, Fang, and Yao. So Li uh, is a TCM theory, you know, that you have a Zhang Fu, which is the most commonly used, yeah. Um, but also there's the uh, Liu Jing, six channel. So that's from Shanghai Lun, yeah. So we'll, po we'll pay more attention to the six channel, yeah. Uh, Fa means treatment principles and the approaches, yeah. So that is uh, basically traditionally is like you have the pattern, yeah, uh, uh, identification, and then you come up with the treatment principle. Yeah. So this is, uh, and the for, fa, fang means for, formulas. Yeah, the formulas that you have uh, basically right now, uh, we have the two group, uh, classic formulas, yeah, uh, mostly from Shanghai Lun, yeah, and uh, plus some other, yeah, a small portion yeah, uh, after Shanghai Lun, 
yeah, and uh, which is also include from uh, uh, Song Dynasty, some from Ming Dynasty. So those are considered as yeah, classic Fang meters. And so the other group is called the Shi Fang, yeah, so called like modern yeah, uh, Fang meters. So the Shi Fang uh, is, the definition is very loose. Yeah, actually it's not so precise. Yeah. Um, and uh, most of the formulas from uh, uh, Wen Bing school, the worm disease. Yeah, so that, that is belong to Shi Fang. And also there's a lot of good formulas, you know, from uh, modern uh, you know, practitioners. Yeah, so there is, you, you open, yeah, uh, you open up a journal uh, in Chinese medicine, you know, you can see, you know, expert, you know, yeah, Professor Zhou, Professor Zhang, Professor Wang, you know, they all have their own, yeah, uh, expertise regarding certain topics. They have, they have a formula for it. Yeah, so those are, we pretty much label them all in Shi Fang. Yeah, so so-called modern, modern formula. And so that's not our uh, topic today. We'll talk, we'll focus on the uh, classic formulas, Jin Fang. Yeah. And then comes to the Yao herbs. Yeah, that include actually herbs and acupuncture. You know, so Yao here is a broader uh, definition. Yeah, uh, not just limited to the herbs per se. Yeah, it's they're, they're broader. So herbs, acupuncture, and you know, food. We know that is an important part of it, right? Yeah, uh, food is medicine yeah, in a way, and pl plus you know, qigong and other uh, other therapy. Yeah, so that's uh, uh, that's the the basic yeah, fundamental principle, and also this is like the the basic yeah treatment uh, like a protocol like a frame. Yeah, you you have to have the your diagnosis, your treatment principle, your formula chosen, and uh, your herbs and other approach. So everything should be consistent, should be on the same page. Yeah, so that is a very, very important, yeah, uh, important thing. But unfortunately, you know, that is not, you know, what, what we see in practice. You know, sometimes that uh, you, you see, you know, they have one diagnosis, you know, they have a completely different, you know, treatment protocol. Yeah, so that's not, uh, not the right. And so, uh, you know, people come to our class pretty much, you already have, you studied some, yeah, uh, we briefly about the, yeah, review what is a, basically what is Shang Hanlun, right? Yeah. So Shang Hanlun is considered as what we call the classic of the classics. Yeah. You know, the classic, uh, uh, th there's, uh, you know, the, the fire school, earth school, right? Those are all considered the classics. But among all the, you know, the 81 difficult, yeah, uh, treaties, you know, all that, yeah. And the Yellow Empress book, uh, Nei Jing, yeah, those are all classics. But this is considered as the classic of the classics in Tsen because it's practical. This is a pretty much, yeah. So, and the, the, the second is like all great Tsen practitioners must master Shang Han Lun. Yeah. Um, you may argue differently, but from my uh, experience, yeah, um, you know, this is my 34th year in practice. I haven't seen a single practitioner, great practitioner, who doesn't know Shang Han Lun much. This, this is a uh, period. There's, there's no, I don't see any exception. Yeah. So uh, the point is like, okay, if you want to be a great TCM pr practitioner, you cannot uh, stay away from studying Shang Han Lun. Yeah. So that, that's my point. Yeah. Um, so Shang Han Lun considered as like a first textbook with the complete uh, pattern differentiation system, yeah, ranging from uh, the Li, the Fa, the Fang, the Yao, we just mentioned. So that uh, basically that means is you pretty much anything you need, yeah, from the theory to the treatment principle and to uh, the formulas and to herbs and other approach. Because in Shang Han Lun book, there is also uh, touch a little bit about like certain yeah, acupuncture. Yeah, and you know, there's one uh, line. Yeah, you have the exterior, you have heat, you know, what they do, or oh, you, you should need the uh, GB20, yeah, and uh, like do 15, yeah, to release the heat before you give the patient yeah, a formula. So that type 
yeah, uh, that type of yeah of uh, things all over the place, and there is also uh, like uh, what we use normally use uh, um, for external for wash for skin condition, and and even uh, herbal suppositories yeah for internal use yeah for hemorrhoids and for other yeah constipation. Uh, there's a lot of yeah, uh, a lot of things you know discussed and yeah mentioned in the Yishan Hanun book. Uh, Mark the yeah, so that's uh, and uh, so this is the first one focused on both exterior and interior conditions. So the reason we need to say that is because a lot of people the impression of Shang Hanun whenever you uh, mention it, you know they think oh this is a useful exterior condition. Uh, that is not right. You know, Shanghai Lun is used for both exterior and the interior condition. So probably I would say, you know, currently I use it more for internal condition rather than you know, exterior, external condition. So that's uh, because of the, the treatment principle and also the way the approach yeah, they have in Shanghai Lun. Um, it's the first completed TCM, you know, uh, clinical book, um, so people say, oh, you know, the Yellow Empress book, Neijing is the first one. Uh, always joke about the yes, you know, uh, Neijing, you know, they're, they're, uh, the whole book all together, they have like about 13 formulas mentioned. And there's this one uh, famous um, formula called, you know, chicken poop, yeah, uh, powder. Is it okay? So the chicken poop, you know, 2000 years ago, the chicken poop must be organic. There's no pesticides. There's no, you know, it's keto friendly if you in, in that, you know, yeah, field. Yeah. And the good nutrition, good minerals. Yeah, but not, you know, yeah, so practical. Not that, the, but in Shanghai Lun, you know, it's, it's a different. You have uh, Shanghai Lun has with just the, the uh, Shanghai Lun part. Yeah, we have about like 113 formulas. Yeah. Um, so we'll continue. Yeah, so that uh, is established uh, like a fundamental structure and the clinical way of thinking, uh, order and format in TCM. Uh, so that basically that means is, you know, when you look at, yeah, so the way that describes the pattern that started with the symptoms and the history. Oh, they have Shanghai, they have been a couple of days and uh, what happened, what, what, what symptoms are present right now. Or, uh, you know, three days after the Shanghai, you know, they got mistreated. Yeah, and also they say it clearly, what type of treatment they had. They, they had uh, the purging approach, they had the sweating, they have the inducing vomiting approach, and then what happened? So the way that, yeah, uh, the, the, the layout, when you look at it's pretty much most of those are a case study, just like a one line. It's actually it's a one, yeah, one case, yeah, from the, the beginning, yeah, to basically the you know the yeah, process, yeah, the progression, and even you know after mistreatment, you know, the the change, yeah, from uh, the exterior when the cold turn into uh, interior heat accumulation, you know, all that, yeah, you can see. In Shanghai, Lun. yeah. So that's uh, that's another, um, and uh, so here uh, is a little bit uh, controversial, even in the TCM yeah, um, world. You know, where's Shanghai Lun from? Yeah, because they, they try to for long in history, they try to uh, establish that consensus. You know, Shanghai Lun is based on Neijing Yellow Emperor's book. Uh, but when you look at, you know, when you compare. Those two classics, yeah, uh, they are uh, they have more differences than similarities. Yeah, so that's why uh, currently, you know, that not everybody agrees, and so I strongly believe, yeah, is the Shanghai Lun is from a different lineage compared to Neijing Yellow Emperor's book. So the Shanghai Lun lineage is from Shennong Ben Cao Jing, the first, you know, yeah, herb book in TCM. So from Shennong Ben Cao Jing, you know, there's uh, another in between Shennong Ben Cao Jing and the Shang, uh, Shanghai Lun, 
There's also another one called the Tang Ye Jing, uh, or Yiying Tang Ye Jing. You know, the, but that nobody, you know, uh, seeing that book. Yeah, so you only see that part uh, described in the document. And so, but that seems like yeah, uh, the more uh, logical way, yeah, how the Shanghai Lun, yeah, uh, like uh, formed, you know, that uh, you, you have basically is compiled all the knowledge, yeah, and based on the Shen Nong Beng Cao Jing, the herb knowledge from that, that angle. Uh, but you know this is again you know let uh, yeah uh, let me uh, be uh, very clear so this is a uh, still very controversial yeah uh, controversial topic you know uh, a lot of people still practitioners still believe you know yeah that's like Neijing is the foundation of the foundation Shanghai Lun is based on uh, based on Neijing yeah um, so there's there's no no other no other way yeah but uh, I prefer you know Shanghai Lun is from a separate yeah, uh, separate the uh, origin. Yeah, so it's not uh, the same as uh, Neijing. Yeah. Um, so there is the, the, when it comes to the pattern and disease differentiation uh, on top of the sixth channel, you can incorporate Zhangfu, yeah, uh, Jingluo channel, right? Yeah, and uh, also you can also see like eight principle differentiation. So um, a little bit of background review. The eight principal differentiation we know, exterior, interior, right? Deficiency, excess, cold, heat, uh, yin and yang. That actually uh, comes very, very late yeah, in the Qing Dynasty by uh, a practitioner called the Cheng, yeah, Cheng, uh, Cheng Guopen, yeah. Uh, but when you look at the in Shanghai Lun, you actually already see the eight principal part, the yin and the yang, the three yang China versus three yin China, right? The cold and the heat, yeah. You have uh, the yang Ming heat, you have a tai yin cold, right? Yeah, and the deficiency and the excess, yeah. Uh, you pretty much see everything there. So it's, it's uh, but that in that sense, actually, uh, Shanghai Lun already included uh, eight uh, treatment principle. Yeah, so those are already part of the yeah part of the picture. And so the different um, the definition yeah of the concept such as Zheng symptom yeah and Zheng Hou syndrome and the Bing disease. So you you look at yeah so even in Shanghai Lun in the early early stage yeah so those are already being um, like distinguished. Yeah, this is just a you know, headache symptom. Yeah, um, you have a, a syndrome, yeah, wind cold, right? Yeah, or you have a bing, tai yang bing, yang ming bing, shao, yang, shao yang bing. So the level, yeah, the level, that structure is already there. Yeah. Um, so this is kind of like give you a little bit of background, it's like where is Shanghai Lun from, right? What's the difference between Shanghai Lun and Neijing? And in terms of the definition of you know symptom, you know syndrome and disease, it's it's already there. Uh, from holistic point of view, uh, from uh, disease in you know, onset, development, treatment, and to predict the prognosis, yeah, of disease, uh, and the progressive and active analysis. So we always talk about yeah, in TCM, right? You look at the big picture. Yeah, you look at the big, what is the big picture? You know, this is, nobody is bothered to ask what's the question. What is the big picture? So the big picture is actually the way of thinking. Yeah, like we uh, mentioned earlier, you need to have that holistic point of view, right? Any, uh, any disease, any case you see. And also you have to have that yeah, pattern differentiation. So the pattern differentiation actually is the way, you know, we talk about like the, to see the progress, yeah, the progression, yeah. And uh, so any the development of certain, uh, certain uh, condition, certain disease, certain symptom, yeah. So that whole thing, yeah, that, that, that approach is so you can see that, you know, from uh, Shanghai Lu, yeah. 
and one by one, anything you need, you know, it's already there. Yeah. Uh, so the pattern ID uh, based the treatment principles, yeah, which after all, you know, this is still the most valuable yeah, uh, part of practice in TCM. Yeah. So you cannot, it doesn't matter what type of condition we see and eventually it have to come down to this, yeah, like a pattern identification uh, based treatment principle. Yeah, so this, this, is the, uh, this is the core. Yeah, we talk about this is the essence yeah, in TCM. Yeah, so we need to have, have that. And the next question is like, okay, so what pattern, you know, identification approach we're talking about? You know, in Shanghai Lun, of course, that's uh, six China, yeah, Liu Jing. And also in Shanghai Lun, um, they established a uh, uh, interesting like pattern. They call that formula uh, syndrome based on a name of formula. Yeah. Uh, for example, they have like a so-called Ma Huang Tang Zheng. Yeah. So the reason um, I bring this up is because right now uh, there's a very popular uh, approach in studying Shanghai Lun. It's called the uh, Fang and the Zheng corresponding approach. You have this uh, formula and uh, this formula has a, a corresponding, yeah, uh, a, a group of in the symptoms and signs. Yeah, you need to just find the match. Yeah, and then, yeah. So, uh, you know, personally, I, I like that approach. Yeah, so that is like, a, because that is easier yeah, you, you can uh, easily to grasp, uh, okay, if you have like Ma Huang Tang Zheng, or if you have uh, the wind cold, basically what, do you, what do we have, yeah, you have uh, chills, uh, chills and fever, more chills than fever, uh, you have headaches, body aches, uh, no sweat, and uh, uh, what else, you have superficial pulse, yeah, so here you go, you have Ma Huang Tang Zheng. Um, so this is a, a very popular uh, approach right now. Uh, there's a lot of um, uh, TCM practitioners and doctors and they're uh, pretty much focused on uh, their teaching you know, on this particular approach. And it, you know, it's good, yeah, it's, uh, but you know, what, what happens is like sometimes this is not enough. Yeah, you need to also to go a little bit further. Yeah. And so that uh, basically is like, okay, when we uh, talk about, you know, the complexity of so-called modern disease, you know, one person, you could have obesity, hypertension, uh, diabetes, and chronic kidney failure. When you have that many conditions together, so that single like approach, one formula, versus one pattern, yeah, uh, it's just not, not enough. Yeah, so you have to go uh, basically be out of the box, yeah, to go from a different yeah, level to try to manage yeah, uh, everything. Yeah, so this is like actually a topic um, I'd like to talk, yeah, it's like a, more like a pattern management. Yeah, when you have two, three, four patterns, you know, how to uh, address, yeah, how to address those issues. Yeah. And the one approach is the best, yeah, if you can stick to Shanghai Lun approach that make it much, much easier. So basically you have the Yang channel versus the Yin channel. You have the under Yang, you have the three, under Yin, you have the three. And so that'll make it uh, simpler. Yeah, it's not so difficult, you know, to put things together. Uh, okay, so a little bit the uh, uh, introduction about the, um, you know, the author, uh, uh, Shanghai Lun is by, uh, we know Zhang Zhongjing. Yeah, uh, Zhang Zhongjing's name is called Zhang Ji. The name is uh, Zhang Ji, the style is Zhongjing. So he's around, yeah, um, you know, yeah, 150 to 219. Um, definitely not. Uh, roughly, yes, this is pretty much, yeah. 
And so based on that, you know, so the Shang Han Lun, you know, the origin we're talking about, you know, when the Shang Han Lun yeah, uh, was written, that is around like 200 yeah, to 219. Yeah. So this is pretty much the, uh, so based on this, you think about, okay, literally this is about Shang Han Lun's whole 1800 years old, right? This is pretty much how old is the book. So that's, yeah, in practice, uh, I always tell the patient, yeah, it's like, okay, you, uh, you have trouble sleeping, you take, you've been taking Ambien, it's not working. And so I have the 1800 years old herbal Ambien, yeah, uh, Ren Tang. you can try, yeah. and you know, they love it because Xuan Zao Ren Tang, you don't have the, it's not addictive, and you don't you don't have all those uh, side effects that come with ambient. You don't see that you know in Sundar uh, Rental. So by the same token, you know we have the uh, eighteen hundred years old uh, herbal Zoloft, yeah, Chai Hu Jia Long Gu Mu Li Tang, yeah. We have the eighteen hundred years old uh, anti parasites, yeah, formula the Wu Mei Wan. When we will talk about. So we have the 1800 years old, the, you know, pancreas cleanser, yeah, Da Chai Hu Tang, you know, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Yeah. So this is kind of like anything. Uh, this is my approach. I try to use that, yeah, uh, basically try to make the connection. You know, anything you can think of, yeah, like in conventional medicine, or the, any uh, category or class of those uh, medicine. There's always a herbal version. Yeah. And so mostly, you know, you can get that from, yeah, from Shang Han Lu. So the Neijing, uh, yeah, Neijing to Shang Han Lu that we already talked about that. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I believe, yeah, it's a, it's a separate image. Yeah, it's not from the same. Yeah. And the, the Shang Han book original name is called the Shang Han Zha Bing Lun. Yeah, Shang Han, you know, you call cold damage. And Zha Bing means uh, miscellaneous disease. So it's a combo. So in Song Dynasty, uh, split into two, two books, so that as now, you know, just what we know right now, Shang Han Lun and Jing Gui Yao Lue, Golden Cabinet. Yeah, so that's, uh, that split, remember, is from uh, Song Dynasty. So, Basically, that means Shang Han Lun and the Golden Cabinet are the same book. So when you're talking about the classic formulas, you're talking about all the formulas from both Shang Han Lun and Golden Cabinet, because originally it's from the same book. Yeah, they're split into two, but they're the same book. Yeah, those are the classic formulas we're talking about. And so the traditional uh, consensus is like, oh, Shang Han Lun is for exterior conditions and Jing Gui Yao Lue is for uh, focuses on integrative conditions. Yeah. And just a general assumption. But like I mentioned, you know, Shang Han Lun, just even the Shang Han Lun part, yeah, we, use, we can also use that a lot for uh, interior condition, yeah, for miscellaneous disease. That's, that's not, yeah. So that's kind of like, the principle and the approach is more important than, yeah, um, you know, just, oh, Shang Han Lun is for exterior or, you know, Jing Gui Yao Lu is for interior, yeah. As long as you have the pattern, yeah, uh, you have the match, you can use it, period. And even, um, you know, the worm disease school, Wen Bing, right? Worm disease school originated from Shang Han Lun. Uh, you know, the interesting, uh, we have, um, you know, the, uh, those three, at least the two, you know, uh, Ye Tian Shi and uh, Wu Ju Tong, they both are considered as, you know, yeah, a godfather of Wen Bing School. You read their case studies, you, what you can tell actually, first thing first, they're not, uh, yeah, it's uh, like, just to talk about Wen Bing. So mostly all the case studies talk about Shang Han Lun. Yeah. And so their uh, contribution to the medicine is like, when Shang Han Lun cannot solve the problem, yes, you know, around the Qing Dynasty is pretty much, you know, where 
uh, when the Wenbin school uh, emerged. And so they extended that by introducing in some detox herbs and also that, you know, the definition, the pattern, you know, we know the, the four level, so-called like the four level uh, dif differentiation. Yeah. So when you have that, that part, yeah. but uh, both Ye Tian Shi and uh, Wu Ju Tong themselves, they're great, you know, Shanghai Lun practitioners. All their case studies, most, you know, 80% of the cases are based, basically you look at this Shanghai Lun case studies. Yeah. So that's, uh, uh, that's kind of like the relationship, you know, a little, little bit background between, you know, Wen Bing and uh, uh, Shanghai. Uh, there is uh, also like the debate, you know, there should be two separate things, there should be uh, uh, one thing. Uh, and uh, I do see actually in practice, you know, we're just talking about the from practice perspective. Uh, I prefer the Shanghai Wen Bing like combined model. Yeah, because that's, uh, um, you know, for, for example, like this time uh, around with the COVID, you know, people come in and present a, one very interesting uh, symptom. Yeah. Um, you know, they have severe, severe sore throat, but clear, clear runny nose. Yeah. So sore throat, we know that's when the heat, heat toxin, clear nasal discharge, that's wind or wind cold. Yeah. So within one case, you actually see both wind cold and wind heat. Yeah. So when it comes to severe, um, severe viral infection or some other like a combined yeah, infection, yeah, viral plus bacterial infection, you may see both. So that's why, you know, personally, I prefer that, you know, we should combine Shanghai Lun and Wenbing approach together. Yeah, so this is uh, just from the uh, practice perspective. Yeah, this is very, very important. Um, so now, yeah, we, we talked about the, you know, the, uh, the disease, yeah, the syndrome and uh, also uh, the symptoms. Yeah, so that's in, uh, in Shanghai Lun. Yeah, you, you can pretty much, you know, we have the disease being under yeah, Taiyang Bing, you have uh, uh, Zhong Feng Zheng, yeah, wind, yeah, wind strike Zheng, you have Shanghai Zheng, the cold damage. Yeah. Under Yang Ming Bing, you have the uh, China, China Zheng, you have Fu Zheng. Yeah. So this is a, the level, basically, you know, the, uh, the structure. Yeah. And disease is like on the top. Under disease, you could have syndrome, right? The Zheng, yeah. Under Zheng, each Zheng, you have a different yeah, a collection of symptoms, symptoms in the signs. You know, we talk about, yeah, there's always the, uh, the pulse, right? Yeah. Uh, interestingly, it's like what's missing, you know, always talk about the Shanghai Lun is uh, the tongue, the tongue reading. So the later, you know, there, there's a few books yeah, that try to make up that, yeah, they have like a, they call the Shanghai Lun, you know, tongue reading book, yeah, and Shanghai Lun, you know, pulse reading, tongue reading book, just add, add more. So uh, that, that is, you know, give you the idea, so like, okay, you don't have to have everything together, right? Yeah, uh, you, as long as you have those key, few key symptoms, signs, yeah, um, you know, plus with or without tongue and the pulse, you know, you should be able to come up with a diagnosis. That's pretty much what, yeah, what that is. Um, and the next, we talk about, a little bit talk about, the, you know, the, the sixth channel, yeah, the sixth channel versus the sixth channel being. The sixth channel, Tai Yang, Yang Ming, Shao Yang, Tai Ying, Shao Ying, Jue Ying. Um, so those are, uh, Originally, it's like a physiological uh, concept. You know, it's like it refers to 12 channels and the zhang fu organ function. Yeah. Uh, but when you're talking about the liu jing bing, six channel disease, so those are pathological. Yeah. Uh, and so this, this is like uh, under, you know, tai yang bing, you know, we have uh, uh, tai yang zhong feng, tai yang shanghan, 
yeah, right under Yang Ming Bing, you know, we have yeah, uh, so called the Ben Jing Bing, you know, that yeah, the Yang Ming channel and the Yang Ming organ. Yeah, you have you have all that. So this is kind of like the uh, the term, yeah, um, is the differentiation is important, but sometimes you know the term you know can be also be confusing, yeah, because that's that's what we we need to pay attention. And also, you know, there's another uh, misunderstanding. It's like they put the six channel in Shanghai Lun. Uh, they think, oh, this is the same as um, of uh, acupuncture theory. So uh, need to cl clarify that, yeah. So the, the six channel we use in Shanghai Lun is similar, but not exactly the same as of uh, acupuncture theory, yeah. So the sixth channel is uh, the Liu Jing. We're talking about, you know, there's a, a different interpretation. Um, you know, I won't get really into it. You know, that there's about the six or seven different types of the interpretation. What that sixth channel should be, yeah. Um, but the sixth channel differentiation, yeah, Liu Jing Bian Zheng. So this is the one that yeah we need to be familiar with, yeah. And so. Uh, you have the sixth syndrome, right? There's the yin and the yang. There is the qi and the xue, qi and the blood, uh, zhang fu and the jing luo, and also qi transformation. Uh, qi transformation is also called the qi mechanism, right? Qi hua, qi ji. Uh, righteous qi, evil qi uh, theory. Yeah, so that, you know, the, the, the goal for uh, any pattern differentiation, right? What you want? to find out the causes, pathological changes, and the natural progress of disease. It's like, okay, and also uh, prognosis. Yeah, a patient is going to die and patient is going to, to live. You know, that, that type of, yeah, it's like any, um, uh, any uh, pattern, you know, identification approach, that's basically that is the goal. So give you uh, a sense of like uh, evaluation, right? Yeah, where, where to start uh, and, how to start, yeah, so that, that type of thing. So from there, you know, the treatment principle, the formulas, the herbs, and the uh, dietary respect, recommendation respect, yeah, aspect all should be yeah, uh, addressed. And one thing that the dietary uh, recommendation part, yeah, so that should be talking about the food, that should be in line with your pattern identification, yeah. Uh, so this is, yeah, and you know, uh, most times the people always say, yeah, they went to see the acupuncturist and uh, TCM practitioners, you know, they always ask the same thing, you know, yeah, no raw food, no, you know, right? Yeah, no cold, no raw, no eat, eat you know, uh, prepared and cooked and well-cooked food. Um, in general, yes, but it has to be, individualized. Yeah, that's a very, very important part. Uh, you can come up with a comprehensive clinical pattern and the treatment system. Yeah, so this is, uh, and, you know, we talk about the, yeah, uh, the six channel, the yeah, Liu Jing Bian Zheng, uh, uh, as the key to determine the location, you know, it's the exterior, interior, if it's uh, uh, tai yang, yeah, uh, or yang ming, and the nature, of course, is that it's a cold, is a heat, yeah, direction of the passage, yeah, it's uh, yin and out, you know, it's uh, from tai yang to yang ming, tai yang to shao yang, or vice versa, from uh, tai yin back to uh, uh, yang ming, yeah, from jue yin back to uh, shao yang, yeah. So the, the reason, yeah, you, you see that is basically, again, you know, it's the assessment. Yeah, so where, where this um, pattern, yeah, uh, where this pattern is, you know, how to address that. This is basically the, and the general consensus, yeah, it's from yang, uh, yang to yin, you know, tai yang to shao yin, uh, tai yang to um, uh, jue yin, you know, that basically indicate the progression of disease, yeah, getting worse. Or oh, from yin to yang, yeah, from jue yin, yeah, back to uh, shao yang. So that indicate um, improvement. Yeah, so it's like a lessening 
yeah, of the, uh, the, the, the condition yeah, it's getting better. Um, so the, uh, the other incorporated, you know, with the uh, Jing Luo, yeah, uh, with the, you know, each uh, Taiyang being, and their Taiyang being Taiyang China, and their Yangming being Yangming China, yeah, so-called the Jing Zheng, and the Fu, Fu organ, Taiyang is the bladder, right? Yangming, yeah, it's large intestine. Uh, uh, and also there's at eight treatment principles, like we mentioned, discussed, you know, they can put that together. Yeah, from interior to exterior, you know, the, the deficiency to access, yeah, superficial to deep, uh, from yang to yin. Yeah, so basically that just give you a sense, yeah, and where, yeah, uh, where this pathogen is located, yeah, how severe, yeah, and how, of course, you know, that the next thing is how to, how to treat that. Uh, okay, so the last part we talk about like uh, the integrative medicine model I mentioned earlier. So that's integrative medicine way of thinking uh, according to the pattern uh, identification. Uh, there is uh, a couple. One is based on the changes of uh, tissue and the organ. You know what is the shape change, the size, yeah, from uh, uh, you know anything increasing. You know, that could be uh, excess, right? Anything shrinking, that could be deficiency. Yeah, uh, texture density change. So it's getting very dense. Yeah, like, like, like hard like a rock. Oh, there's got to be blood stagnation, right? It's getting thin, yeah, like a bone density. And you know, very thin, yeah, that is like essence deficiency. And the other, uh, very detailed, like nose, sinuses, eyes. Yeah, so that very uh, uh, localized change, you know, those sensory organs, yeah, you hook them up with zhangfu organ. Yeah, so this is, uh, the second part is based on functional change of tissue and organ, uh, hyper activity versus hypo activity. So the nerve, nerves are too excited fire yeah burning sensation nerves a too like uh, slow yeah uh, surprised uh, numbness no feeling of bottom of the foot neuropathy yeah just like oh deficiency right yeah it's that type uh, decreased movement of uh, gi tract qi right talking about the fu qi yeah so can be a fu qi stagnation can be a Fuqi deficiency. Uh, and also based on the discharge, like when you have talking about them, you know, the discharge is yeah, uh, clear, is congested fluid, yeah, or it's thick, yeah, it's colored. Yeah, that means like an infection, yeah, that part. And also there's the incorporated with the lab, uh, lab tests and the imaging tests. So this is like, well, uh, getting to that later, you know, when we uh, uh, discuss, you know, the individual formulas. Yeah. Uh, and also there's another like modern inter yeah, interpretation of the sixth China pattern. Um, for example, exterior, what is exterior? You know, how deep can it go? Just the skin layer or the subcutaneous region also included yeah, or the superficial layer of the muscle layer. And so what is the interior, right? Yeah, interior is easy too. And what is the Shaoyang? Oh, Shaoyang is the uh, lymph system. Uh, Shaoyang is uh, uh, the fascia system. Yeah. And the connective tissue. So those are more like the, uh, the modern uh, interpretation yeah, of uh, Shaoyang being, of Taiyang being. Yeah. Uh, and so ideally, you know, the sixth channel pattern plus lab test and the imaging test, you can come up with much more accurate, number one. Number two, much more uh, precise. Yeah, so that make your uh, choice of, you know, formulas and the approach much, much easier. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, let's take a break yeah, for 10 minutes. Uh, everybody, you know, just get up moving around and move your chi. And so we'll have the chi and uh, for, for next, the uh, next hour lecture.
So Donna, yeah, can we take a break? Yeah, we can start the break right now. Okay. Recording stopped. Thank you. 